Introduce your name and your role in school. My name is Santiago. I am Camila Dana. My name is Katie Smith. 45 years old. 16 years old. 16 and I'm a student at Cleveland. What have you gained from your education up to this point? Um, I feel like I've gained just personal knowledge on just how to form my own opinions. I mean, of course, I've learned like those basic knowledge, stupid math things, but other than that, I feel like I've learned how to form my own opinions at school. Well, it's not what I've gained, it's what I've learned. I feel like every single day, you know, I come to school and I gain knowledge on, on the past, the future, and the present. And I, I've learned a lot of, you know, about who I am as well, especially the, who I can become. And I feel like as I learn and grow as a learner, I can become who I truly want to become. I've learned a lot, especially I feel like I've learned math, something I can really understand. I've even learned a lot about history, the past, how to read and write. Um, I, I mean, I believe everything's worth um, worth it in the end. I think sometimes during the process, it's like, what is the point, which I think kids feel on a daily basis. But I do believe that it, later on you realize in retrospect why it was important. So I've, I've enjoyed getting an education. I love it. Yeah. Do you think the public education system is flawed? If so, what's the main issue? If not, why so? Yeah, it is flawed. Um, I think the biggest issue is that it's made for cookie cutters. Um, it's made one way for one person. And so if everyone learns differently, not everyone's going to be as successful as they can be. Oh, absolutely. It's flawed in so many ways. It's flawed from the education, the way we're being taught, to who's being taught, to what is being taught. Everything is a problem, but the problem is that the only way to fix these issues is we need real systemic change, which is just simply not going to happen in the world we live in today. When the building blocks of society are, are already cracked, what's the point in building higher when it's all just going to collapse? I think education across the board is flawed currently um, because there's never been, let's reflect on what's happening, how are we gonna get better and improve it? I think it's just been consistently the same for years. I think kids are demotivated. I think teachers are overworked and we all need to come together, I think as a society and figure out what's best for kids and how can teachers actually contribute their strengths to the educational environment. Final question, what is the purpose of education? I think the purpose, of, the purpose of education is to set you up for life, um, to gain the knowledge you need to be a successful person in your future jobs, know basic knowledge, and you know, form your own opinions on life. Well, in a high school element, it's to prep you for adulthood. I honestly believe that it should suck. It should be challenging. It should be fun. It should have all the elements of the emotional spectrum because I do believe that you need to find the things that you love throughout this process, demonstrate responsibility, learn how to be good, effective communicators, and then take that into your practice, whatever that ends up being. So I do think it's worth it. I, I believe it's a layer of responsibility that everyone has to go through. It's like your first job. Like home is the first job. Your second is school. If you don't have home, then school K through 12 is your first layer of responsibility. Yeah. The purpose of education is to learn, to become, and to grow. I feel like education creates us and makes us who we are today. Education can be from walking down the street and observing others to sitting alone in your room, meditating, heck, to even going to school, which is, you know, the most classic form of education. Education is really the way we process our daily life, and I feel like when we process our daily life in a cooperative and understanding manner, well then we become who we truly want to become. And scene. Wow. Okay. Got you. Got it. Bravo, Sandy. My name is Peter Van Bleet. My name is Mason. My name is Giuliano. And we're the people behind this mini documentary. Why does all of this matter? All of this matters because it is talking about our future generations, the generations that may be deciding the fate of our planet. 
We believe a proper education is one of the most valuable things us humans can obtain. Education goes back to being able to read, do simple math, and develop important social skills. I am so thankful to be in a position where I can get this. However, I see some issues in the education system. I think that school is too hard on students and doesn't allow the student to question, to be curious. One of the producers, Mason, mentioned how We shouldn't be breeding our kids to be opinionless robots. Education should be giving people curiosity about their surroundings. Curiosity is one of the most valuable traits in life. We want to breed our kids to have an eagerness to look deeper. Giuliano, another producer, strongly believes that our education kills creativity. Sir Ken Robinson shares the same idea, saying, Creativity now is as important in education as literacy, and we should treat it with the same status. We don't grow into creativity, we grow out of it. Or rather, we get educated out of it. What we expect from students is an issue. Waking up before the sun, going to seven hours of school, then doing hours of homework when you get home, and balancing sports, jobs, and family on top of that. It adds an unmanageable amount of stress and crushes the little kid in all of us. The one who wants to play, step in puddles, enjoy the simple pleasures of life. I think we need more of that little kid today, but our education system is burdening our students too much. We need systemic change and for the districts to listen. Earlier, Santiago said, When the building blocks of society are, are already cracked, what's the point of building higher when it's all just going to collapse? I believe that with change, we can work towards mending those building blocks. From the movements we've seen students put together, I have hope for our future. <laughs>